As we close out Pride Month, we're taking a look at some of the challenges the young people in the LGBTQ community face and the local groups working to help them. Our Ray Daniel joins us now with more on this. Ray, the pandemic had a really concerning impact on this specific group of young people. That's right, Taylor and Lindsay. With the schools and other resources shut down, some young LGBTQ people lost their support systems. 42% of LGBTQ youth say they seriously considered attempting suicide in the past year. That's up from 40% the year before and 70% say their mental health was poor most or all of the time during COVID-19. The mental recovery from the pandemic will take a while, but one local group is now back up and running, making sure these kids have the support they need. For LGBTQ youth, finding a place to feel safe can be a struggle. I felt really lonely and constantly upset that like nobody else understood. I've struggled with confidence for a long time until I found this place. That place is the Passages program at the Casey Anti-Violence Project. The first time I came, I just felt so welcomed. You can be yourself here and you can be whoever you want to be. The weekly meeting aims to give teens an open forum to express themselves. <laughs> and have fun. We always play all sorts of games and talk, and we always get to have the best dinners. Are you guys hungry? Yes. yes. Always. Let's wash hands. Quinn Herb was once a Passages participant herself. Now she's the program coordinator. It is the dream of Passages to just continue to facilitate a safe space for all youth to be able to come and to be themselves authentically, and then to also challenge them to um, question the things that society says should be one way or um, to challenge what um, even they think is acceptable or not acceptable as far as their identity, sexuality, or who or what they want to be as they continue to grow older. After a year of not being able to meet in person, you just kind of feel like you feel like you're missing out on something. <laughs> the teens say being back together feels like coming home. It just feels like you have a giant, like a family. Jenga. Now, the Passages program just started its summer program earlier this month, but anyone is free to join at any time. They meet every Monday from 5 to 8 in the evening. If you'd like to attend, just reach out to KC Anti-Violence Project. Taylor, Lindsay. Ray, what other services do they provide? Yeah, so it's actually the only organization in Missouri that provides domestic violence and sexual assault services specifically for the LGBTQ community. Oh. So that includes legal assistance counseling and emergency housing assistance. So if you need their help, we have that all information all over on our website at KSHB.com. Excellent. Ray, thank you very much. Resource. Appreciate that. Thank